Hi, I'm Kate, and I'm going to talk to you all by myself today about sewing and how my sewing is going to impact us both, uh, hopefully, to reduce our debt, and also how I'm going to plan to take my sewing on the road with us. know that with quilting comes a great deal of material scraps, little bits and pieces of things that um, you know you're going to use on that next quilt. Well, I've come to the conclusion I cannot take all that material with me on the road. So, I put it behind me. These are the three boxes of material that I'm donating to the county extension office. Hopefully someone there can um, give this to somebody who was a quilter or a beginning quilter who doesn't have all these little bits and pieces. And I'm going to have to concentrate on one project at a time when we do hit the road. Now I'm, I'm trying to do that now, I'm finishing up a lot of projects that we have, that I have started and um, I need to start focusing on getting down to one project at a time. And that's difficult to do because sometimes they're, they're big projects and you kind of get tired of doing the same one all the time. So I'm finishing up using as much scraps as I can. Uh, one of the things I'm going to do to help reduce our debt is our church does a bazaar every November, first weekend in November. And that's what I have out here are some things that I've used scraps for to make table runners, uh, some little scrappy quilts that I've done, little throws, and I'm hoping to sell those at the bazaar. I forgot to get a few things that I wanted to show you that I'm uh, going to put in the bazaar, just like little, little things that you can use scraps for, sunglasses case. These, I think, are the most adorable things I've seen. I'll show you a close-up of that. But it's uh, a little pin cushion that you can actually use on your, on your sewing machine by using a command strip thing. And just like little pin cushions, just little doodads that I'm just trying to use up all the scraps that I've got and have those as very inexpensive crafts for someone to buy at the bazaar. Any of you who might be quilters and or seamstresses that are on the road and and doing these projects while traveling from place to place, I would appreciate any suggestions you could give me on how to organize and how to keep focused on one project at a time so that a, a space is very limited and I know that I have to be able to organize this projects, these projects uh, the best that I can. Uh, so any suggestions would be greatly appreciated. I have two sewing machines. This one is my brother SE 625, which does my, all my embroidery. And then I have a brother, I don't know what kind that is. It's just a straight sewing machine, but it has a lot of really nice uh, stitching patterns. And I like using this one strictly for my embroidery and the other one for straight sewing and, and decorative stitches. I've done quilts that have been started by other people's grandparents or great-grandparents and never were finished and I've done quilting on those and put them together which that is very satisfying. I'm currently working on my great-grandmother's quilt that she gave to my grandparents on their wedding day and I'm uh, 
using tea stains to take fabrics which look very similar to the old fabrics that she had used and aging them and making them blend into the quilt very nicely. Um, it's very satisfying to sit and wonder whose little shirt or blouse or dress was used as part of piecing this quilt together and that's that's very satisfying to know that an 85 year old quilt will continue to live on. Well, let me just look at a few things that I've I've started and I've got ready for the bazaar and this particular quilt is called floating blocks which I just love illusion quilts makes it look like it's just popping right off of the material this one is a just a scrappy herringbone type quilt which I think has turned out very pretty and here's that tub of things that I was uh, showing you a little bit earlier it's a little zipper bag and here's that little pin cushion which you put the use a bottle cap which I think is adorable and glasses sunglasses cases different kinds get different kinds of sunglasses cases and little pin cushions and I have much more but I just didn't bring it all out due to time's sake. Now this is uh, some material that I started for my granddaughter's blanket and I sewed the material incorrectly and instead of ripping them out and starting over I'm just going to make pot holders out of them and sell them at the bazaar. So if you have any suggestions on how to sew and, and travel and keep yourself focused that would be great. Please send them on to me. I'd be glad to take any suggestions you might have. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll let you know in a few episodes how the bazaar goes and how that's going to work out as far as reducing our debt. So talk to you later. Bye-bye.